What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Gigapan from the MSL or Curiosity Rover. Now, there is a lot to see in this. I'm going to give you the link to the Gigapan as always. And when you see this, it's just, it's just mind-blowing and we'll jump right into this. And folks, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that little button right there that says thanks just underneath the screen. Buy me a cup of coffee and it supports the channel. And with that, let's just jump right into this. All right, folks, here it is. You got MSL 3000 to 3100. You can see at the top, MSL 3010ML. And this was put out by our good friend, Neville Thompson. Thank you, Neville Thompson, for your work. It's always appreciated. Now, folks, we took a screenshot. You can see this so-called butte here on the left, and you can see these two boxed in areas. Now, when you back out, there is a bunch to see in here, folks. Again, we're going to concentrate on this area right here. Right around, like I said, a little closer, right around there. Let's just jump into this real quick. These items right here, have a good look at these two pieces. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen, right here. I swear to you, if you didn't know any better, once this is enhanced, you'd swear they look like vehicles, okay? Really, really cool. Also, just above these gold parts here, you can see right here, very faintly, there's some kind of weird design in this so-called view. You can see where it goes around like this, has a corner, and is in the line just under that. To the right over here, and this is weird. You're gonna see what I mean in a moment. You can see the straight part. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen, right here. It looks straight here, but when I took a screenshot, it looked like it had like a, like a shape of a T, right? Okay. Here's what's really interesting. When you look at this part right here in the middle of the screen, you would swear these are structures. And again, once we fully enhance this, you're going to see exactly what I mean. Check out this part. If this is natural, I love the way they have this right 90 degree angle and has this nice smooth curve around it right here. See that? Really, really interesting stuff here, folks. What I'm seeing, and once I reveal the whole thing to you, it looks like another junkyard or parts of something laying around. So let's just jump right into that and let's have a closer look. All right, here we go. Folks, like I said, when you get into this, these two pieces right here, they look like vehicles. Let's just jump right into that. Brighten up a little bit, get rid of some of the trashy color. You can see in the back we've already done that, but let's get right to the front parts first. Folks, what are we looking at here? Check this out. You'd swear like those look like some kind of vehicle. Now, before I go back to the original, let me show you something here. Check this out, line, okay? There's another line doing this. coming down. Okay, not sure what this is here. On the other side, it's going like this. Folks, it is something similar that we see here on Earth. This one here is no different. Now, is it possible that these are just structures or parts of, right? Now, keep in mind, this is pure speculation, folks. That's all we can do is speculate as to what we're seeing in these photos. That's it, right? Now, keep in mind that these appear to be closer than the rest of the stuff we're gonna see over here to the right and in the background. So they would seem pretty large, okay? Now, zip over here. Let me do this. This area I'm showing you right here. Watch this. Folks, check this out. Again, I'm gonna go back to the original. Okay. Folks, plenty to see in here. Now, when I first did this part, I went over this quickly. You can see there is two lines. There's another line coming down like this, and it looks like it's going like that. You can still see the two lines, one here and one here. Okay. And again, we got these wild looking objects right here. Back out just a hair bit. Okay. Go over to the right. Folks, something's coming out of this. I'm not even sure what this is. You can see it's going up like this. Looks like something doing this. You don't see the whole thing. Going like this. Got a space. 
going like this. I'm like, what is going on here? All right, let's keep going with it. Folks, check this out. The lines are in fact there. Let's go back to the original. They are there, but they're very much hidden, okay? See that? Back to the, right here. Check this out. Folks, look at all the little lines in the back. This is by design. Look at the shapes there. They're not just squiggles, they're actually pieces. And also keep in mind, we're dragging this through manipulation, okay? Here's that T I was telling you about right here. Right there. This goes across. Now what you didn't see, and was probably hard to see, was this part right here, okay? You can almost see like another little hump type thing. See, let me get those off, see that? Smaller one. Okay, back to the original. It's there. Okay, slide it over. Folks, here's the part I was telling you about. Okay, original, there you go. Let's go all in right there. Folks, I don't know what that is, but they appear to be structures. That's what it looks like to me, off in the distance. See it? We're just bringing the depth out of it. That's all we're doing. And the hidden lines, right? We got this piece right here. This piece right here going like this. Nice, smooth, 90 degree angle. See that? Back out a little bit. I'm seeing bits and pieces of stuff that looks like it's been thrown around. It doesn't look like something that would be still standing correctly and everything else. Now, have a look, folks. It looks like something else is right here. You can see it just under it. See that? This may be an actual structure right here. See the white right in here? There is something in there. Something's right here. These two pieces. Okay. Let's go back over it right there. Folks, pause it anywhere you like. Have a look. And folks, there's much, much more in here. Like I said, you've got this here. Notice this area right here. These two going across and some lines coming down like this here, okay? And we've got this weird kind of piece. Got another one, smaller one here. Got this T part right here. Okay, that to me is not natural. Here, pause it, have a look. This area right here is kind of funky looking too. It's got two pieces sticking up. Round black area, like some kind of details. Again, we have this piece right here. And it's actually pretty noticeable. Like they forgot to take this out. This right here. And again, we have this kind of 90 degree angle right there. And folks, this is where it gets really, really bizarre. Look at the lines in here. Some of the things that are sitting up here, like this one, look at the shape of some of these. You'd swear there's either windows in here or something along them lines. You guys see that? Check that out. There is so much in this photo but again, we're trying to pull it through this manipulation. We have this right here. You can see where they've really taken this out, okay? However, it looks like it's been broken apart. Then we get a bunch of this blurring or whatever that is right there. And look how smooth this comes out of the blur. Nice and smooth. What is inside here? You folks see that? Wow. Now I've done this area before because I remember seeing this item there's something right here, you can see it doing this. Pieces right here. Going back to this piece here. What is inside here? What is all that? Again, pull out the lines the best you can in an area that's completely been manipulated. But what I'm seeing is structures intelligently made objects. And folks, just these three circles alone, 
Look at the one on the right. In fact, let's zoom in. Notice it right there. Let's do black and white. Folks, it's there. Check that out. Just bringing the lines out. A lot of the stuff has been hidden, so it's not going to be clear. It's as simple as that. You can see the lines right here. See that? They're there. Right here, it looks like it's been broken apart. Just all of the pieces in here. Folks, I don't know if this is like a city far off in the distance, and what you're seeing right here, with these other two objects, is that they're much closer. And obviously, going back here is a little further away. Again, from left to right, pause it right here. We're going to do black and white. Okay. Pause it right here. Have yourself a good look. Black and white it. Right here. Black and white it. And folks, you can even zoom into like this area here. This is what's weird. This object right here standing up. Looks like it has a shadow right there. See that? Check these out. Got two lines going like this. You can see that. Almost looks like there's a separation right here. But check this out. There's something that's doing this. Something inside this area doing this. You can see that. Right there. Black and white it. That to me is wild. All these pieces up here. Folks, there's so much in here to see. Back it way out. And we'll leave it right here, folks. I'm going to do a black and white one last time. There you are. Tell me what you think. Folks, when I look at this photo, I'm seeing what looks like either structures that are normal. Some things look like they're overturned on their side. Pure speculation. But that's what it appears to be. And when you do look at some of these objects, you can see some things are behind other things, right? So you got structure, then another structure, like a quarter of one, a half one, so on and so forth. To the right on the screen, it looks like on the bottom left, it looks like vehicles. Um, as you go along again from left to right, you can see things that look like they're overturned on their side or they're not straight like they should be. They're like tilted. Are they meant to be like that? Are they decimated again? Or are they designed this way? I don't know. Again, folks, all we can do is speculate. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, if you thought this one here was pretty cool, wait until you see the next one. This one here is a mind blower because it caught me off guard. I wasn't looking at depth at first. And then it hit me. And when you bring these objects out, wow, talk about absolutely cool. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.